In my video lesson part 5, I have discussed a solution of this math puzzle. Its question is, how many lists of 10 numbers, 1, 2, 3, up to 10, exist such that each number placed in a position from 2 to 10 has its number incremented by 1 or decremented by 1 before it in the list? In that solution, we placed each number from 10 to 1 into place number 1 and counted all valid lists for each case. Uh, let us look at a slightly different solution that uses algebraic method of calculation, which is more concise. Let's denote n to be the number placed in position number 1. This can be any integer number from 1 to 10. Notice that in this problem, for number 1, there is no number decremented by 1. Therefore, if 1 is not in position number 1, then 2 must be placed to the left of 1. Otherwise, 1 will not satisfy the conditions of the problem. But then 3 must be left to the left of 2 in the list. Otherwise, both 1 and 3 will be to the right of 2. The same is true for all the subsequent numbers, each incremented by 1, all the way up to number n minus 1. Now, the opposite is true for number 10. There is no number incremented by 1 for 10. Therefore, if 10 is not in position number 1, then 9 must be placed to the left of 10, but then 8 must be to the left of 9 in this list, etc., all the way down to n plus 1. Thus, place number 1 is the point of connection of these two sublists, because only n being in position number 1 can have both n plus 1 and n minus 1 on the right side. Since sublist 1, 2, etc., up to n minus 1, in the decreasing order, can occupy any n minus 1 out of 9 places from 2 to 10, there are c 9 choose n minus 1 ways to place the numbers in uh, this sublist. Then, for any placement selected for the numbers in this sublist, the remaining numbers, n, n plus 1, n plus 2, up to 10, must occupy the places that are left without any choice. Notice that if n in place number 1 is one of numbers 1 or 10, then there is only one way to place numbers 1 through 10, because they are all in either decreasing or increasing order. These numbers also satisfy our formula C9 choose n minus 1, since this formula is equal to 1 when n equals either 10 or 1. The rest is the same as in video lesson part 5.